Welcome to the second video in the ins and outs of SCCM video series brought to you by Patch Connect Plus. This video will cover the technical process involved in deploying third-party patches using SCCM. First, make sure the content path listed in WSUS is valid and the published content is available. Second, ensure the synchronization between WSUS and SCCM is successful so that SCCM doesn't miss the published patches. Once you're done with these basic checks, you can start deploying third-party patches. In the All Software Updates tab in the SCCM console, right-click on the third-party patch you wish to deploy and select Deploy. For this example, we'll deploy a patch for Java. The Deploy Software Update wizard will pop up. In the General tab, you can specify general information like the name of the deployment process, the software update group the patch belongs to, and the target collection to which the patches must be deployed. Once all of these fields are completed, click Next. You'll then be taken to Deployment Settings, where you'll select the type of deployment and notification. If you wish to deploy patches to endpoints immediately without any manual intervention, choose Required as the type of deployment. If you want your client users to schedule the deployment themselves, select Installed as the type of deployment. You can also choose the details that you want to include in the notification. Once you choose your selection in the Deployment Settings tab, click Next to go to the Scheduling tab. At this stage, you need to specify what time you'd like the deployment process to happen. After providing a time, click Next. Here you'll find the user experience stage, which allows you to customize the visual experience as well as the deadline and device restart behavior. Once you're done, click Next. Now you'll be taken to the Alerts tab. As the name implies, you'll choose various alerts for the deployment process at this stage. Once you're done, click Next. You'll now be brought to the Deployment Package tab, where you can select a deployment package or create a new one. Once you've made your selection, click Next. You'll be given a list of all available distribution point groups in the Distribution Point tab. Specify the distribution point groups that the package content has to be distributed to and click Next. Now you'll choose the download location, which dictates whether the patches must be downloaded from the internet or from a network location. If you opt for the latter, provide a valid download path and click Next. This will take you to the Language Selection tab that contains the list of supported languages. Select the desired language for the patches to be downloaded in, and then click Next. You'll be taken to Download Settings. Here, you can configure the deployment options. Click Next. In the Summary tab, you'll have a chance to review all your selections. You can still return to previous tabs and make changes at this stage. Once you've confirmed your selections, click Next. And that's it. All your selected third-party applications will now be successfully deployed to the target systems. Check for a link in the video description for our previous video on enabling custom catalogs in SCCM and subscribe to our channel for more how-tos and product updates.